I told you to stay out of that room, boy. Y'all quit all that carrying on. You little shit. Wait till I get my hands on you. touching i think you know it's kind of a poignant um title because so like fairy is often a derogatory term towards um gay people and and to turn it into kind of something positive like re reuse that um idea narrative into something else and i think it's so important to have this this older yeah. character kind of guiding um the young boy as he comes to terms with his sexuality and 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 missing his mom or not even sexuality but just like this embracing of femininity um despite you know his dad being so angry with him and and so against it and it's kind of like the opposite where this this young man's mom is rejecting him for the same thing so it's it kind of parallels and it kind of doesn't but overall it teaches this idea of like you need to be confident with who you are um because if you love yourself, you can kind of like choose your family. It, it was a really uh, touching story. And I like that you you kind of have it outside in nature, like going back to like who you are without like input of, of society and stuff like that. So I really enjoyed the piece. It, it was really sweet. And I, um, I think you should share it more. More people should see it. Just great it job. It was nice to see uh, this young boy uh, connect with his uncle. Um, you know, both of them actually living in bad situations that they were able to find solace and escape together. Um, you know, it was interesting to, uh, you know, see this play out against the, the backdrop of the, the, the family story unfolding. And then we have a touch of magic in there too. So it was really nice. You know, it was, it was good performances by, uh, by everybody involved. It was a good script. Um, it was, uh, really nicely paced, you know, it was, uh, it was well directed. Um, I really liked the score a lot. The uh, song at the end was very good. Um, it was really interesting that we were able to get this whole him, family backstory just with, you know, they had just had a few actors. They had a couple of locations, but they had made this this whole, you know, this whole story uh, unfold in, in a very simple way, which was very well done. So uh, good job on this. And um, I'd like to see what happens to these, uh, to, to our heroes here after they... Uh, um, and make their way. Love the bond that's displayed in the two characters. Um, they have something in common where they both love this person that's gone, um, but they both like presently have the same problem. They almost create like this brotherly connection. I, I really love that, um, how he almost takes on this kid, uh, like bringing him into his life and he's almost like his guardian angel. Uh, they're both being cast out by their parents, and they have this understanding of each other. And it shows a new beginning, and I really like that. And it does show real issue. It's kids being abused for um, their expression or what they're doing, or just by parents who don't see things fairly. Um, and it's it's really hard for LGBT kids in that kind of situation. Um, I, I, I just thought it was a really beautiful film. I loved the characters. It was well acted. Um, it, it looks beautiful, <laughs> the shots. Um, I don't know. I just think they really did a good job with it. I thought this it. was really well done. Um, I really liked how they took the time to kind of show the the kid's life was the same before his uncle got there. That it wasn't like his uncle showed up and all of these things were happening. That all of those things were happening already and then his uncle showed up and they didn't change just because somebody was visiting. Um, I thought that was really well done and that they showed that it wasn't just towards the kid, it was also towards him that this, this animosity and anger and resentment about kind of everything that happened with the sister had kind of like affected and infected their entire lives and it was definitely tainting all of their relationships and I liked that they showed that and they showed just how toxic and terrible it was and then when the uncle showed up it was such a 
different type of relationship and they showed the contrast between the two really really well this short was amazingly shot the cinematography i think was the shining moment of this um the story was very harsh um it was amazing visual storytelling the um fireflies and the um 3d animation and the cgi and the special effects were great i really enjoyed it was it was subtle but it was really impactful and um it was a harsh reality with some very great acting and great conveyed emotion. Um, yeah, I thought this one was really compelling. I think it's, you know, it's a really beautiful story, and I love the way that it was shot and the way that it was performed. I feel like it's just an example of some strong direction um, from the director. And yeah, I just think it's a really, it's a really beautiful little story that um, lent itself well to a short film. So I'm glad that the, the filmmakers felt compelled to um, to make it. I, I think that there's a lot that really, really works um, in here. And uh, yeah, you know, strong performances by both actors. And um, yeah, I just, I, I really, I really dug it. I, I think it has like a, a full arc and you know, you feel very connected to all the characters and there's pretty decent resolution too. So great all around short. Such a great story. And I loved the little boy and he was so earnest in his longing for his mother and then when he finally got to meet his uncle who just breezed in like this just breath of fresh air and um you know just brought light and positivity back into the house and um i'm so glad that they were able to leave together to kind of start this new life where they could both just live authentically and express themselves without consequence um I love that he was, even though his mother had obviously rejected him, he was respectful the whole time. And it just, it just spoke so much to his character. Um, and just the love and care that he showed towards his nephew, uh, was really beautiful. I love the effects of, you know, the little, the little fairy, which was, you know, representation of, of the boy's mom. And, um, yeah, it was a really sweet sweet story and um i hope that they're very happy and living their best lives in california together it's like a modern fairy tale of sorts and i really commend the filmmakers for making a short that can inspire hope for lgbtq youth like skylar that there is a better future out there waiting for you and that you can reach it the acting in this is superb honestly and every performer gets to explore their character and really flesh them out in meaningful ways. And that's not always the case in many shorts, but this one certainly achieves that. I just, your eyes are glued to it the entire time and you're so invested in the story because of how it is set up. And again, it's just so important for this kind of content to be watched right now. Um, as it has been for several years, but with still LGBTQ youth being in such danger today, it's this kind of content that could really inspire.